Well, it's a beautiful morning here, folks. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock. Just kind of waiting for it to warm up a bit. It's chilly here this morning. And check it out. Right here. Right in that area. I don't know how well you can see that. The grass is sort of beat down there. That's right where a deer was laying. I spooked them quite often coming up through here. But anyways, I'm heading down to the old hole and uh, I'll get you up on the next good find. See you there. Good day, YouTubers. Don't forget to stay tuned after the digging portion of the video if you'd like to see me attempt the blistering Chipotle hot sauce challenge. And don't forget, if I complete it, to leave a thumbs up. That is the deal. Okay, folks, so I'm back in the old hole here. There's that big old piece of stove that I pulled out here last time. Maybe I'll make a piece of armor out of it. A big old breastplate or something. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you this tailings pile over here. That's all from last year, and as you can see, it's uh, greened up nicely. Probably better than it was before. It was full of uh, alders before. That was the big old cave-in up there, which prevented me from digging there anymore. Well, I could still, but I'd have a lot of work ahead of me. So anyways, I'm back in this hole here, as you can see. And uh, we're going to get at it, so let's get busy. Okay, so I'm busy shoveling out here, folks. And I'm pretty much out of breath. I think I see something, for starters, down in the hole here. Just caught my eye right there. Check it out. There's definitely a little vial of some sort. Well, looks, looks to be blown. Not 100% sure on that though, but uh, first little keeper. All right, there we go. All right, I think I got a half decent bottle in the hole here, folks. I'm just kind of raking this stuff back out, and then I'm gonna shovel it out. And I see right in back here, right at there. Check it out. Looks like a cobalt blue ribbed poison bottle, but is it gonna be in good condition? That is the question. Well, so far so good. And it is blown, blown in a mold with a tooled lip. Awesome. There's a good find. Check it out. Beauty. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I'm still just raking the stuff back from in there, folks, and this just come out. It is a cork top. Appears to be blown, but uh, not quite sure what to make of it. It's broke, of course. Full of dirt. An interesting shape. Just the same. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not going to want to focus. Let me turn around. Here we go. That's a lot better. Check it out. Weird. All sorts of weird little bits and bobs coming out. I'll just chuck that up there in the pile of pieces. <laughs> well, get back at it. Just thought I'd show you that. Okay, folks, I got a big rock up overhead right there. Doesn't look as big, but nothing usually does. There's my rake there. That's like a five foot rake, and that's down in the bottom of my hole. I'm stretching down. <laughs> I'm going to get the camera set up, and uh, then I'm going to pull that rock down. Hopefully capture, capture it on film here. All right, here we go.
Okay, I was afraid that was gonna get my camera, but there it is down in there. It's a big piece of granite. All right, now I gotta get that up over there. At least I don't have to worry about it falling on my back or head. All right. Well, folks, there's a lot of work to do in a hole like this. Not only to, you know, get a hole going and get into where the bottles are, but it's also, you gotta do it so it's safe. You know what I mean? And uh, take the proper precautions. I got a bottle up in the back wall here. I'm giving my luck here today, it probably isn't anything. Probably broke if nothing else. Well, it's just a graduated med. A dime a dozen. Let's do a little scraping wall right here. See if anything comes out. Oh, oh. Okay, it's a Vickers gin bottle. Shared. Probably from the 30s. Anything else here? I'm surprised you don't find more milk bottles. I find very few, sh even shards of them in here. Right. Well, there's. No, nope, just broken stuff. All right, well, I don't want to bore you with too much of nothing, so I'll get you back up once I feel like I'm getting into some stuff here. There's some old glass there, though. Well, folks, it's a great day here today. It's kind of cool. It's not too hot. A good day for digging, if nothing else, which seems to be pretty much all I've been doing. That hole goes way in there. That's about eight feet in and about three feet down. I'm just taking a little break here. Got my old Rockstar energy drink. <laughs> have a few smashes of that to get me going. So far, though, the pickings have been slim. Well, that's uh, basically all I got right there in that little pot. There's a few other bits and bobs come out this year. Green Gilby Collins gin bottle come out. And, but it's not really a keeper. Nothing I'm going to be taking home with me. What else? I don't know. There's a couple small links come out. Lots of shards, pottery shards. There's a Dr. True's Elixir, 1851. And this was the uh, one of the family laxative ones set on the edge there, family laxative. That was kind of interesting. Anyways, I'm going to have a few more drinks and then get back to shoveling. I got a bottle showing right here. It's like a little panel side or something. Okay, it's a uh, Cognac Monet bottle. Check it out. We've got the dragon on the front. Bake a light lid on this one. And it's half full of liquid. Alright. We've got one more fine just rolled over the back wall there, folks. Right down here. That's right. It's another little cork top ink. She is rusty and crusty. Just a bunch of numbers on the base of it by the looks of it. Um, can't really tell if it's machine made or blown. If I had to guess, I would say it's machine made, but never can tell with these. Might even turn out to be a manganese glass. That'd be nice. Kind of looks like it is, actually. Time will tell. All right. Keep scraping away here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, folks. Always appreciate that. Okay. Bottle in the hole, folks. Bottle in the hole. I just pulled this big old clump of something out of the back wall here. And right behind it is a cork top. See that sticking out? Let's pull that out and see what that is. Here's a base to something up here as well. I can get that first. It's just a little cork top. Slicker. Blown in a mold. Tool whip. Pull this out now. 
uh, or not. That is in there good. Okay, it's not ready. Um, hopefully I can get it out without this wall collapsing. I'll get you back up uh, once I get it ready. A few moments later. Okay, I'm just pecking away uh, around it here. At the moment, it just sort of looks like it's a extract bottle. I think it's loose there now. Uh, let's pull it and check it out. Well, it's a big one, tall, two and a half ounce one. Okay, kind of neat. You don't pull too many of those out, but still, it's basically just a slicker. Let's keep going. Okay, folks, got another bottle in the back of the hole here. It's not something that I'm particularly interested in, but I know some people are. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. If I can find it again. Is it there? Yes. And it appears to be a diamond shaped ink. I can't remember if these were Waterman's inks or not. But I've got plenty of these and this isn't something that I'm going to be taking home. Yes, it is Waterman's. It's embossed on the base there. Don't know if you can make that out or not. I know some folks are interested in old ink bottles though, but there's one there. And I actually ha have an old one with the label still on it, I believe. I believe it's the same thing. And if so, I'll, I'll show a little clip of that maybe. Or a picture anyways. What it would have looked like. So there it is. Hello folks. Well, I didn't do a proper outro to the digging portion of this video, so this is going to be it, combined with the viewing of this Waterman's ink that I was telling you about, with the label on it. The lid is starting to rust up a bit here for some reason, but uh, I only paid a buck for it. It's got some of the ink kind of solidified in there. It's like a powder in there now. And uh, there's the base. This is Waterman's 2 ounce, registered, made in Canada. All right, so there that is. As you can see, the diamond shaped Waterman's ink that I generally find around uh, 1930s and 1940s sites. So, there you be. Good day, folks. It's me, the Canadian Groucho. That's right. Now, I've had several requests, one of which was after mentioning doing a shot of this hot chipotle sauce. I've had a lot of positive feedback about that in a previous video. People wanting me to, uh, or daring me, shall we say, to do a shot, at least one shot of this. The other was, people want to see more of Groucho. <laughs> so here I am. And uh, yes, I have a drink. A drink of Sky Vodka. And also, check it out, folks. From my sister for a Christmas. This tastes like a million bucks. White wine home brewed. To help ease the pain. All right. So, here we go. Thumbs up. <laughs> Awesome knife here. I'm gonna open this puppy up. Maybe. I wonder what's in there. Is that a actual cork? No, it's not. Well, I'm in luck. I am in luck. Not only do I get to <laughs> have a shot of this hot sauce, I get to open it up with relative ease. Okay. Uh. Okay, it's a screw top. Well, that explains it. Thought it was a cork top. Well, here we go, folks. Straight out of New Brunswick, New Brunswick, Canada. Oh 
one shot. I'm going to do at least one and uh, possibly two, depending on how I react to it. <laughs> it does, doesn't look like something you want to mess around with, I'll tell you what. But, okay, folks. Woo! Wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> God. oh, I should have had a puke bucket. Oh, uh, Nelly, is that ever hot? Oh, 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 <laughs> sorry, folks. Oh. <coughs> Cheers. Oh. folks we're gonna shut you off and hopefully be back in a, a couple minutes with the recap for this video oh don't forget thumbs up that's the deal thumbs up i want to see all the thumbs up like at least a hundred of them Ooh. Hello, YouTubers. Thanks for staying tuned after that extraordinary hot sauce challenge right here. Wow. I mean, this is several minutes later, probably like half an hour or so, and my guts are just... Uh, I must say. Anyways, on with the show. <laughs> First up from the dig, and I'm going to try to get through these real quick. I got two of these Cognac Monet bottles, and this one with the lid on it, you can see it's got some embossing on the reverse side there as well. It's got the dragon up here, and the octagon there, it kind of looks like a stop sign shape. And then another uh, panel down here, whereas this one is just slick on the back side. But uh, there they are, kind of cool. Always nice to dig up a Cognac Monet bottle. And secondly, is this lovely cobalt blue rib poison bottle. And it is blown in a mold. And you can see the seam ends right up about here on that, on that side. And more like down around the shoulder area on this side. And the neck is quite a bit off to the side there. It's kind of angled over that way. I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, anyways, it is imperfect, but it is a beauty. I will always take these, and I will take them all day long. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, check it out. Still hitting this wine that my sister gave me for Christmas. Well, that's her nickname that some folks gave her a while ago, several years ago. Man, does that ever taste good. Smooth. Smooth. All right. Next up, we just have this octagon-shaped Noxzema bottle. Nice cobalt blue. Worth a buck or two. The Lamber bottle. Nothing to 
really right home about, but they're always nice to get. And this cork top ink bottle, check it out. It's got the consumer glass mark on the base of it. That's the C in the upside down triangle. And it is a offset seam on this puppy. I'm trying to find the seam on it. Uh, I can't really see it getting me under pressure here. The seam comes right up this corner here. Then it shoots over and then up. So that's an offset seam. Typical of uh, pre, say, 1920 bottles. 1900 to 1920. And then we've got two of these, which are probably just little extract bottles. And they have a nice little uh, rounded area here, as you can see, where a label would have been. I don't know if they're going to be manganese glass or not. They don't appear to be. Nice, thick blown in a mold seam on them though on both of them corkers so they might turn out to be manganese glass those ones usually do when they're that old and they're blown but uh, they don't appear to be but anyways that's going to be it for this one folks my guts are still all messed up <laughs> so i'm in for a rough night thanks for watching don't forget give a thumbs up i did the challenge i conquered it i'm on my way folks <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching tune in for the next one over and out folks have a great day